This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. We are in North Carolina again. This time I have Kelvin Martin from the Bouncing Bulldogs with us. I've known Kelvin for quite a few years, and I was really excited to be able to have him join us for this episode. He's going to be teaching a couple double dutch um, individual skills. The first one is just a regular push up inside double dutch. And this is one of the skills that a lot of people like to learn how to do. So Kelvin's going to kind of break down how do you get into it, how do you jump it inside the ropes. And then once he's got that down, we're going to go into the varsity skill, and he's going to show you the push up into the frog and the frog back into the push-up. Actually, in reverse order, we'll go frog to push-up and then push-up to frog. And they're more commonly known as the uh, belch frog and the reverse belch, but um, really what they are is just the frog to push-up and then push-up back to frog. And Kelvin will be explaining how do you do those and then how do we do those in the ropes. The JV skill. For the JV skill today, we will be covering the push-up for double dutch. You want to make sure that your hands and your feet are being used in this trick. It is a basic squat thrust at first. So the first step, you will be doing a squat. Next step, you will be kicking out with both your hands and your feet landing at the same time. After that, you want to make sure that you jump and bring your hands to, the ch bring your, hands to your chest, making sure that your feet and your hands come up at the same time. <laughs> there. I'll show it to you one more time. That way, when you jump, your hands don't go out to the side, making sure that they don't hit the rope, not interrupting the flow of the double dutch ropes. So this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to bring your hands to the outside. Another thing is you want to make sure that you don't dip your body into the floor and that you make sure that your feet stay together. That way you're not interrupting the flow of the double dutch ropes and the turners are not working too hard to make sure that you jump the trick. This is what you don't want to do. <laughs> like that. So, once you get both your hands and your feet moving at the same time, you should have the trick A-OK. -okay. Once again, here's the basic push-up for double dutch. <laughs> and up. Also, after you get the, after you get the first push-up, you can also do multiple push-ups where you can jump on your hands and your feet at the same time as well. As so. So, there you go. The basic push-up for a double dutch. Once you got the push-up outside of the rope, you're ready to try doing it inside the rope. So Kelvin's going to come in here. We're going to start off with just doing the basic push-up. Like he said, you always want to start off with doing that squat thrust. You're going to be going squat, out to push-up, back up to your feet. And the big thing you're going to see when he does this, he's going to jump nice and even while he's doing it. Um, he doesn't kind of do like a fast jump, then a slow jump, then a fast jump. He's always keeping real even with it, which is very important for us as turners because in turning, if he's changing his pace too much, it's really hard for us to turn. So he jumps nice and even between it. Now he he does slow down a little bit, but we know that because anytime you go into a push-up or a crab or any type of floor trick, the jumper always slows down. So we have to watch that and we kind of slow down our pace to follow him. So we'll start turning. Kelvin's going to step in here. And a push-up, it doesn't matter which rope you go on, so you can go on in either rope. It'll just go down and out. Down, up. He jumps nice and big. We'll do that one more time. So he goes down. We slow down. Comes up, he keeps jumping nice and even. Once he's got one push-up, he can do multiple push-ups in a row. So he'll go down and out, just like he did before. Just keep jumping. We just turn slow, then he can come back up. And then he can step out. So your basic push-ups, you just want to make sure that you're jumping nice and even. You'll notice everything he's doing. Once he was doing multiple push-ups, every push-up was the same speed. He's not really changing. We're using kind of short ropes here, so you'll notice what I was doing. His feet were like right in front of me, so I was having to scoop quite a bit for him. But if you have a little bit longer ropes, usually you don't have to do that much scooping. Um, you just keep really even with it, and that is the push-up inside double dutch. The varsity skill. So for today's Varsity Double Dutch trick, we'll be working on the frog into push-up and also the reverse push-up back into frog. Now this is a very difficult trick. So if you're not used to it yet, you want to make sure that you try it outside the ropes on a mat first because this can be a very difficult trick. First of all, you want to do your frog to the side, making sure that you get a nice even bounce. And you want to do your frog 
and jump your hands up and land into a push-up. Here, remembering to bring your hands to your chest. Let's show it one more time from the front. You always want to make sure that your hands are almost shoulder length and making sure that you bring them to your chest every time you pop. And it's also good that you bring your hands up after you do your frog as well because you don't want to get them caught inside the rope. <clears throat> Next, we want to go reverse. We want to reverse the trick this time. So this time you want to start in a push-up and jump yourself into a frog. This is a little bit more difficult, so it takes a little bit more strength. Now, for those of you are, who are not very confident with doing this trick, you may want to start with your hands a little bit closer to your chest. Others of you who may be a little bit stronger, you can start them out a little bit further. Now, the key to this trick is making sure you pick your hands up, either after the frog or after the push-up. That is the key to doing this trick. So, there you go. You have your push-up in the frog and your reverse frog in some push-up. Well, once you got those tricks outside the ropes, Kelvin's going to step in here and show you what the push-up into frog and the frog back into push-up looks like inside the ropes. Now, the things we have to watch from a turning standpoint is which rope he goes on. Now, normally, Kelvin's going to do his frog um, for the first one, the frog into the push-up. He normally does his frog on the correct rope, which means if he's in here in the middle, he's jumping. When he goes into his frog, his hands are going to go over this rope. This rope's going to swing over him. As he goes into his push-up, the rope's going to swing out, and he's going to land here, and then he's going to come up. Now, that's the easiest one to do on if you're first trying it, that's the best way to do it. Now you can do it on the wrong rope um, where the rope's going to be coming up from behind him on the frog and then he'll have to jump a little bit further into his push-up. And we'll show you both ways so you can see what they look like. Now if he was facing either a leash or I, it really doesn't matter which rope he's doing, but we'll have him start facing to the side. So he's going to step in and do it on the correct rope here. Goes up, down, and up. Now if he does it on the wrong rope, it looks like this. down, and up. And Kelvin's so used to doing his uh, frog on the correct rope, it's a little hard to do on the wrong rope. But now, let's say if he's facing one of us, it really doesn't matter which rope he goes on. So just go up, up, down, and up. And you'll see how easy he makes that look because he jumps real high. Now, once you've got that down, um, you can do him you know, the frog into push-up. The push-up back into frog is a little bit tougher because he does have to jump a little bit higher, but we'll have him show you what that looks like in there. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll show you on the correct rope, the wrong rope, and then he'll do it facing one of us. Now, on the correct rope for this, the one you want to go on, if we could do a count, I'm going to count it one, two, down, out, into his push-up. I'm going to count the rope that is on his back. So the rope that's closest to the back side of Kelvin is a rope I'm going to count it on. So I'm going to count this one. It comes up and go ready. Or I'm going to count one, two. He's going to squat. This rope's going to come under him as he goes into his push-up. And then when he goes up into his frog, the rope's going to come up just over his hands. And then we come down and just from a normal frog um, and down. So that's the easiest one to count it on um, if you're trying it for the first time. Now, he can do it on the wrong rope as well, and we'll have him show you what that looks like. So he'll step in here. I'm going to count the back rope here. We'll go one, two, down, out, up, and down. Now we'll count the other rope. One, two, down, out, up. Oh, we missed that. Let's try it one more time. And you'll notice he has to jump a, quite a bit higher because that rope's got to clear all the way under him. And we caught his hands as he was coming into his frog. So we'll try that one more time. One, two, down, out, comes up, and down. So you'll notice how much higher he has to jump that way. Now if he's facing us, it once again doesn't matter which rope he goes on. So we'll go down, out, there up and down. And we'll have him just combine those here real quick. We'll do frog into push up and then back up into frog. And he'll just go on the correct rope. He goes up, down, up, and back. And you'll notice when he does it that way, if he just does one push up and back up into the frog, he's on the right rope. So it's real easy for him to land it and then go back up. So anyway, those are the frog into the push up and the push up back to frog inside double dutch. 
For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.